What is going on everyone? Welcome to the Manga Madhouse, the channel where I, Darian, talk about my manga collection journey, all the manga I got, uh, the manga I read, all those things. So if that sounds interesting to you and you want to join a community of great people who enjoy manga, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. If you cannot tell by the thumbnail title of this video, in today's video we're going to be talking about five manga that I hope is better than the anime now there's some that deservedly so are on this list there are some that have really no business being on the list but it's just my personal list so i would love to hear your personal list down below because we all have different experiences so therefore something i may have may nowhere be anywhere near your list because of your experience with that manga anime or whatever the case may be um, so these are things like, if you didn't know, before I even started reading manga, I was just an avid anime watcher. And now that I've I've gotten more into the manga space, I've just found things that I like and I don't like. Um, and it's like, oh, wow, that was way better than anime. Or, oh, okay, they changed this a little bit. And maybe it was for the better. I don't know. But there's some things I just want to talk about. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so this first one is one of the ones that really doesn't, deserve to be on this list as far as the like everybody's opinion but from my opinion from my experience with this anime it's on here and that is bleach i've talked about bleach plenty of times on this channel um i actually don't dislike bleach and as is seen as part of the big three uh some people say you know it's one piece naruto bleach some people say it's dragon ball z one piece naruto then bleach is kind of saying it depends on who you talk to but there are more times than not, you are going to hear about Bleach. And then some people, you know, hate it for a certain reason. Some people love it for a certain reason. I think I want to say more people like it than dislike it. There's nothing on here I'll say that I dislike as far as the anime. It was just more so it really didn't stick with me. And for Bleach, that that was it. I really just, it the pacing was a little off to me. I didn't really care for it that much. Now, granted, I didn't watch Bleach when it was, you know, airing. So, therefore, it was a little eh to me. I kind of watched it. It was after I've seen, you know, Naruto. I've seen Demon Slayer. I've seen all these other, uh, uh, Attack on Titan. I've seen all these other anime and then kind of went back and watched Bleach. So, it was one of those things where maybe you had to be there but i do feel like something about there's been things about even specific anime that i like or maybe anime i didn't like that i've read the manga and i was like okay this this is a little better or or there's been times i've read manga and was like oh if this was an anime for the ones that don't have an anime or even some that i have not i read the manga but i haven't seen the anime it's like ah oh, okay if this if i watched anime i probably wouldn't like it just because of how it's kind of set up in the manga I, like I said, it, it doesn't really deserve to be on here, but I do it I do want to read it. I got the first three volumes for a reason. If you've been around the channel, you know that. And then also, just like a tidbit, I had a friend that really, really enjoyed Bleach, and he doesn't have the best taste in anime. So it, that kind of also threw me off as I got older and was like, oh, maybe I should watch Bleach. And the way he would talk about it, didn't really do a good job of selling it, so I was like, ah, I'm just not that interested. But Definitely going to read Bleach. I know it's not on my to be read this year, but I have the first three volumes. I'm going to take a stab at it and see if I like it. And then, of course, if I do, maybe we'll get the box set and you'll see that on the channel sometime soon. This next one is with the anime. I, I love the anime. It, the way it looks is great. I think the story is great. The voice acting is what makes it difficult for me to watch it, whether it's in English whether it's in Japanese, whether it's in Spanish. For some reason, I cannot get through the voice acting for this anime. I may get eaten alive for this. But the next one is Demon Slayer. As I mentioned, I've seen the anime. I enjoy the anime for the story. I enjoy the anime for how it looks. The scenes are good. The premise is good. I really, really enjoy Demon Slayer. That voice acting drives me insane. I can't do it. I can't. I, I really can't do it. Uh, Tanjiro, his, his his voice. I mean, this is specifically English, but his voice is just whiny, and and I can't do it. And it's nowhere near as bad as the other guy. The the guy with the orange. I don't remember his name, but it's nowhere near as bad as him. His voice acting. And that one I've literally tried in almost every language available on Netflix and could not get through his voice acting because it's so whiny it's it, it, it's it's like pitched whining and i and i cannot i can't do it i really can't do it now voice acting for other characters i think is just fine um and voice acting it it doesn't to me it doesn't make or break the anime as, as you can tell like i said i enjoy the anime for the parts i've seen i do need to watch all of it um but for the parts i've seen which is a good chunk of it i just 
and it's been a long time actually. And every time I try to go back, that it takes me out. So the first time I think I was wrapped up in the wow, this is just so aesthetically pleasing. I like the story here. That this is this is good anime. Took me out of the voice acting. Now when I try to go back, I'm like I can't do it. But hopefully the manga to me is just a little better, um, and I can kind of use my own voice. Even though that might be annoying to some people, I don't know what that voice will sound like as I have not read the manga yet, but we'll see. For the third one we have here, and I and I believe I've talked about this on the channel before, we have Fire Force. The reason I am unable to watch Fire Force, uh, the manga, is a, a reason that a lot of people say the unnecessary fan service. Not for me. I I don't like. I don't care for fan service at all. I mean, it, it, if if that's what you do, then that's what you do. But as far as like it just kind of being forced is a little much for me. And then sometimes. We, we I'm mean, without going into too much detail, we know how anime gets. Um, so it, it, it's just a little too much. I felt like dude, I was talking about Bleach's pacing. The pacing in here is ridiculously slow. And people say it gets better. That's why I've, that's why I've never said, like, I hate these things or don't want to watch these things or say something overly negative because I'm all for growth. I mean, you know, of course, it's got to start one way and finish another. I'm pretty sure my videos are, are have fallen that path of maybe my videos are slowly getting better. That's the hope. Um, so I'm not going to judge, you know, the entire series, but this is one where I, I just don't know. I just don't know the anime that I couldn't deal with the fan service, couldn't deal with the pacing. It was just a little eh to me. And then really the story kind of, it made sense, but not to the point where it's like, okay, I'm invested in this. Let's go. It, it, it wasn't that far. So th that fire force has to be, has to be one where I hope the, the manga is better, um, that, that's why I got it. That's why I got the first omnibus because I, I I do have hopes that it's going to be better. If I don't like it, then I don't like it. I'll give it away on my collection. But I do want to try it out. I, I'm definitely eager to try that out. Next, we have one that a lot of people talk about. This is one that, I mean, if you see a video like this, this manga will more than likely, well, technically we're talking about anime to manga here. But this anime will be on the list, and that is Promised Neverland. Um, Promise Neverland, I mean, I, where do you even start with this? The first season was one of some of the best television I've seen, period. Like, first season was one of some of the best television I've seen. And then I watched the second season without having read the anime or read the manga. Jeez, I'm going to keep doing that in this video. Without reading the manga, I was like, this seems off and we're getting nowhere fast. It's weird. And then... Come to find out, get on Reddit. They're like, yeah, they skipped so much. Ah, oh, this sucks. This isn't, you know, the first season was very close to the original material. Now the second season, they just they just rushed it. And we know, like, with, you know, the COVID thing and all that was going on. Maybe I shouldn't say that. Does YouTube still get you in trouble for it? I don't know. Either way. The point is, it just progressed way too fast and it didn't make any sense. I feel like they just want to get it out there. I'd rather you just cut off the first season and call it a day. I don't know how much money you would have made compared to just doing the first season. And then, I, I don't know. Was it worth it financially? Because that's what you know a lot of these decisions are based off of. I have no idea. So I, I would like to actually know that. If you know that, let me know. But overall, the characters, I mean, I think you it's one of those things where you have an ensemble of characters. Of course, you're going to have the main characters, but you have an ensemble of characters and you feel for each and every single one of them. If, if you, for some reason, have not seen or read Promise Neverland, it, it's a very, very good anime. Like I said, the first season, but then after that, it kind of falls off. But I just like it. Just, it's, it's spooky, but not spooky as in like a horror element. It's just spooky because almost like some of it's like real life dystopian type stuff there um, at, at places and that makes it scary as well as having a little bit of a horror element kind of playing on that without going too deep into it because at the end of the day it is kids now we know manga and anime does not care men women children does not matter if they have a narrative they will you know make sure that narrative gets put across so things do happen but overall i think it's a really good anime as far as the first season but after that it just falls off so i want to know what happens that's why like it's on my to be read this year uh because i i absolutely need to know and then looking at the cover <laughs> of some of these, uh, that because I got the box set, I'm a little, I'm a little skeptical that I may not like it as much as I liked the first season. And so maybe it was just like ah, I should have just stuck with the second season and caught and not like that and called it a day. We'll see. Uh, but people do say the manga is much better. Last one here is Tokyo Ghoul. I mean, once again, this is another one where if you see a list like this, you're not going to go too far um, and not see Tokyo Ghoul. Tokyo Ghoul, I really enjoyed the first season. Second season, it, I didn't even bother to watch it because so many people said it wasn't good. And then, like,
like years past. I watched like the first two episodes. I was like, I, that's that's enough for me. Never watched it again. And and I watched those two episodes like over and over and over again, almost to where I could probably tell you what happens without watching it. But either way, the point is, I really wanted to like it. I tried to like it, and I just could not like it. But the first season was good enough to where I was willing to get the box set. Everyone said the manga is better. Everyone says that it would have been a fantastic story if they just would have stuck to the manga as the second season of the anime is strictly anime-related content. Um, it, it, that they, they made that for the anime. There, it has nothing to do with the manga itself. And then the third season I heard is like a soft reboot. So this is why I want to just read it. It is on my To Be Read. In fact, it's for this quarter. If you don't remember that, I, I split up my To Be Read by quarters. It is for this quarter. And I kind of started reading the first volume just, just to go ahead and start reading that in Blue Giant, which you'll see more videos of me doing like what I'm reading. I don't know. I, I really had to find my niche for content because y'all didn't not like that review I did of, of, of happiness, which is cool. I mean, people that watched it liked it, but like it wasn't, it didn't pull the interest of many, which reviews are weird because sometimes you have people who've never read it. And so therefore, why would they want to read it? But anyway, Tokyo Ghoul, I mean, the art in here is cool already, uh, it, which is very reminiscent of the anime to me. Uh, mind you, I've seen the anime first, but I know that, you know, anime is based off the manga, the art, art style and all that. But, yeah, it, it reminds me much of the anime. Anime had good art, good fight scenes. We'll see kind of what we do here because I felt like they tried to turn the anime into like a battle manga. This one, I've heard that the characters are more fleshed out. Um, you you kind of meet people along the way. There's interactions that happen in the manga that does not happen in the anime. So I'm all for it. But, yeah, I, I do hope that the manga does change my ideas of the anime or of the series as a whole because i don't care if it i'm not gonna rewatch the anime um to, after i read the manga and be like oh yeah i like the anime now no it, if i read the manga and it's better i'm gonna leave it at that so and if i ever want to revisit the story i'll read the manga again it's only like 14 volumes so anyway thank you so much for watching um let me know once again any kind of videos you want to see anything you want me to do on this channel please feel free to let me know. I mean, we are close to like a thousand subscribers. It's something I never would imagine. We're like at 831 or something like that. So thank you so much for supporting the channel and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.